these are some of the issues that you could be going through with your boat. Right here is your fuel bowl. I changed the filter in here. I do not have the little red ring that lets you know how much water's down there, but when your boat's sitting there just long enough for the water and the gas to make sure they stay separated, you will see a clear, definite line. If you see anything in there, it's just go ahead and empty it out. There's no need to wait till it gets to a certain level just to empty it because all it's going to do is just cause you problems. I'd make sure you clean the filters quite often or just check them. Filters don't cost that much. Your motor does. So take care of everything. Just make sure that's snug and then put that little uh, nut lock in there. That little metal piece. Make sure it doesn't come loose because you don't want nothing like that happening while you're going down the lake. If you're watching this video on how to change the fuel bowl filter, you need to also see my other video on the VST filter and the O2 sensor cleaning and where to get to that on a Yamaha OX66. This video is help you work on your maintenance of your fuel system due to the, what the ethanol does to it. It's not like alcohol. Ethanol attracts as opposed to alcohol helps you burn it off. So along with ethanol, if you run premium, it has about 4% ethanol. And if you run the cheap stuff that has ethanol, it has around 7 to 8%. So I re recommend go ahead and run the high stuff. It also reduces your problems with it. You need to make sure you're running ring free and some fuel additive as well. If you like this video, be sure to check out the other videos. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe.